Physically, the damage is minor, but I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. They must be targeting you for some reason. Probability is high that I am part of that reason. Besides myself, Jackson also created Turing, Hertz, and Porter. Our built-in modifications would be desired pieces of salvage. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. 
The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. You'll need help if you want to succeed. I'm aware of this. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. I'll do it. I wish I had the proper vocal registry to express my gratitude. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Are you sure you're up for it? Yes. I will not rest until the Mechanist is stopped. Yeah. Let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there.
something from that robot. Yeah. It had this interesting tech. Intriguing. Let's examine it. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo-brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Let's just hope it's safe. I share your sentiment. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. Does it have to be you? I could install it on a different robot. My memory contains more relevant knowledge than any new robot you attempt to create. I appreciate your concern, but I can assure you I won't suffer any harm from the installation. So, are you ready? It's time. Let's do this. Good. The installation should be simple. Once I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Do you think the mechanist knows we're tampering with the beacon? I've already added fail-safes to ensure my location is secure and prevent any unintended commands the signal may issue. Unfortunately, one of that will help us determine the signal's source. It's a good start, at least. Absolutely. 
With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo-brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. Which means the one I destroyed isn't the only robo-brain under the mechanist's control. Yes, and we can use this to our advantage. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. Are you sure this will work? I've calculated a 96.9% .9 chance of success. Given your capabilities, I believe the odds to be in our favor. Alright. Let's do it. I'm uploading the location of the Robobrain to your Pip-Boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented, but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And, with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll do the trick. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another Robobrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. 
So where exactly is the last Robobrain located? Yes. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. The Robobrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. Who, or what, are the Rust Devils? Allow me to explain. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way?
Devils do to you. They felt that by keeping my head online would prove useful to them. Fortunately for me, they're stupid enough to actually believe anything I say. Admittedly, it hasn't gotten me very far, but it has saved me from the same fate as my rather unfortunate comrades you see in pieces around you. Now, back to my original question. What are you doing here? Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. How could I possibly help you? Willing to listen? How surprising. I'll take that as a gesture of good faith, as I describe our potential bargain. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible, so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm going to provide said access. But you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Heads up. Yes, ma'am. Please take your components, ma'am. Look alive. Look alive. Yes, ma'am. 
Hey, Ada. Yes? How can I assist? That's all for now. Very well. Watch the trip wires. I'd rather keep myself intact today. Thank you. You really are taking the path of most resistance here, aren't you? Based on my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. This is the one that ripped my head off. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair.
Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Hey. What can I do? Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being... Well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about the Meta? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit... shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. Now that you have the final radar beacon, will it be enough to track down the mechanist's location? I certainly hope so. I've already started the calculations while we've been having this conversation. That still doesn't explain why you need that head back. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all.
interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. What kind of a body were you expecting? Considering I look like a junk bot that's been hastily welded together by an amateur, I'd say almost anything else would have been better. However, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, given your limited skill set derived from your equally diminished intelligence. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's the best I could do. Yes. Well, it's certainly better than being stuck to a machine surrounded by rust devils poking and prodding me for their amusement. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The Mechanist gave you these instructions to kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. Can we stop with the petty bickering and just get to the part where you tell me how to access the Mechanist facility? I promised to answer your questions. And unlike humans, I don't have the capacity to lie. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while, and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell, once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. Hey. How may I be of service? Ada. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. Is there a chance these robots could be misinterpreting orders? Yes, I've considered the possibility. The contradictory nature of the Mechanist's broadcasts are troubling. But the truth is, regardless of intent, the Mechanist needs to be stopped. These robots are too much a threat. Were you able to discover how to gain access to the Mechanist? I need to outfit a robot with something called an M-Set. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the M-Set may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? It's time to confront the Mechanist. I hope you're allowed the opportunity. I too am curious as to what the Mechanist would have to say. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install.
This unit is currently in factory default mode. Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? Sure, that would be great. Acknowledged. Personality subroutine activated. A pleasure to see you again, ma'am. Are you ready to depart? Time to hit the road. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but... Over here. Use this.
scan this. Here. Over here. Here. Scan this. You 
is this? Over here. Over here. Use this.
my reign of terror? The Commonwealth has suffered more than its fair share of injustices because of you. Now you'll face the full might of the mechanist. My precious robots will end your tyranny once and for all.
I'm not a villain. I just want you to hear me out, face to face. Very well. I will hear you out. But only for the sake of sparks with me. I think it's time you ditched that mask. You're, you're right. I'm Isabel Cruz. The mechanist was just an easy way for me to help the Commonwealth. But all my technical knowledge and all of these resources, and I still failed. Does the Commonwealth have any hope against people like you? Hey, I'm not the enemy. I'm the one trying to protect the Commonwealth against your robots. That can't be right. Explain yourself. They're misinterpreting orders. Your own robo-brain said as much. They're saving people by killing them. Saving by... killing? No, it's... The logic, it's there. I can see it now. I was hoping it was the robo-brains, an issue with their memory wipes. But you're right. <sighs> their primary directive was flawed. Now you know the truth. Your robots are dangerous. They had to be stopped. The hero unknowingly became the villain. I wanted to help the Commonwealth. And robots are all I know. I found this place and figured I could finally do my part. I accept full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done or even atone for it. But this doesn't have to end in violence. I'm not here to kill you, only to get you and your robots to stand down. Done. Consider it done, and you won't regret this. I promise, none of the Commonwealth will. Here, take this. It's the password to the mainframe. You can use it to shut down the security protocols. I just, I'd rather this place be in your hands now. I just wanted to say I'm really happy, thankful, that you've let me stick around here. And in order to show you that I'm done with the past, I want you to have this as a sort of promise, I guess. It's the mechanist suit I made. You really don't want it anymore? No. It's part of a past I don't want to dwell on. It's time I move on. There's one more thing, a much bigger thing. There are still robots out there, lots of them. My communications are down and I can't call them back, but I can tell you where they are, if you're interested. Sure. Great. I'm not picking up a signal from any of my bots right now, but that doesn't necessarily mean you found them all.
Hey, Ada. Your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. I got her to see the truth. She's standing down. So the mechanist really was misguided. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? She truly wanted to help people. She didn't know what the robo-brains were doing. To her, a life saved was a life saved. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. She's good at heart. She made a mistake. A big one. And she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped for, it will suffice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Had the Mechanist's robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive. Halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment. And I have you to thank for it. Ada? Would you like me to go with you? Time to hit the road. Understood. Please, lead on. I'll stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. I expect you'll be leaving me behind, Jericho. Haven't you already interfered enough? Go away. At least now I'll have time to work on my pi to the last digit calculation. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? At least now I'll have time to work on my pi to the last digit calculation. <laughs> 